Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yase ala, koholoimla, yahawa bahasim yawasai, bahasim rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That is all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on one of those last days prophecies that Yahweh Shai spoke of when the disciples asked him what will be happening in the end days and um, just before his coming. So it's a lot of heinous things going on right now. A lot of judgment on women and children that you never used to see before. I just done a video, um, you know, earlier, kind of somewhat of the same fate, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, with this guy. You know, he's so enraged with his wife that, you know, he 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 puts his two children, you know, two daughters, one and three year old into a car, you know, into the, you know, the family car and sets it on fire. And, you know, the, the results on that. Right. So it's a lot of brutality, a lot of domestic shit going on, you know, as far as. In America, because America is just not a place that's fit for marriage, really. It's not. I mean, let's just be honest. The um, divorce rate is through the roof. You know, women are generally the ones that get into divorces. I think up to about 80 to 90 percent of the divorces, I think, are pretty much, you know, um, pushed through by women. And, you know, this is just a place where they're able to get abroad. That's not a good process or system because, see, just because Esau has given them. That, that liberty to get abroad or that liberty to be free to roam and do what they want to do, it goes against the scriptures. If you're going against the scriptures, that's all death. There's nothing coming out of that, you know, because a woman is a is supposedly a man's property. I mean, not supposedly, but according to the scriptures, is a is a man's property. And see, women don't want to hear that, you know. They don't want to. They'll tell you they're Christians. They'll bring out scriptures and all this, that, and the third. Hell, you'll have even some of them of being the pulpit teaching what they're not supposed to do. But when you give them the realness of the scriptures, they don't want to hear it, man. So you're living in a society where the so-called white man has flipped everything, you know, upside down. The woman is ahead of the man. That's off. The Lord made an order in, in his thing, man. That order starts with him, Yahweh, which is the true name of the father, which means he exists or the existing one. Next in line is his son, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Next in line is the man, then the woman, then the children. That shit is completely opposite in Esau Edom's world, man. So I'm gonna, I wanna play this right here. This is, um, it says mother and child deleted, father unconscious after attempted murder-suicide in plantation. Crazy. Anyway, let me, um, let's see here real quick. Let's get that order again. This is the order right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. That's the order. And then the children, of course, come next. Hell, in this kingdom... Hell, they put the pet first and then the children and then the woman, <laughs> you know, then the man possibly, you know, but they definitely they put in the Lord last, man. But let's get a little bit of this this article. Right. I'm just going to play the news story. I think it's about a minute, two minutes almost. But let's play it. Following breaking news tonight, that breaking news unfolding at a plantation home where we are learning new details about the mother and child who were killed inside. Tonight, police confirming the father is a suspect. Let's get right out to Christian Cologne. He's been at the scene all evening long. Christian, what's the latest on this neighborhood tragedy? Hi there, Joanne. Yeah, police, uh, plantation police confirming that a mother and her child were killed. A lot has happened in the last couple of hours. Take a look behind me. The scene is still pretty active. It developed around 12 o'clock today. Just in the last couple of minutes, we have seen the two bodies coming out and being taken out by the medical examiner's office. We saw those bags being brought in and then again, those two bodies being taken out. Police are labeling the father as the alleged killer. They say he, they found him unconscious due to an overdose and he was quickly rushed to the hospital no word yet on his condition it's not clear how the man allegedly killed half of his family several neighbors around here say four people lived in the home a mother the father see they they, they always go they're gonna give you that cute little picture of 
what appears to be a so-called white woman, but she could be an Israelite, you know, because we are under those curses. These types of things are happening to the Israelites more and more, you know, but um, a lot of Esau, a lot of Edomites, man, are taking taking themselves out, too, though. I mean, they've been <laughs> they're notorious for it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of our people are, are um, you know, running with the the same playbook as Esau when it comes to just being out of here. They just don't, the people just they just don't want nothing to do with this world no more. They they just feel as if it's, it would be a relief to just just to just delete themselves and their families. Man, that's been happening too much <laughs> i mean when you really think about it every other day you're hearing about three or four of these five or six of these and, and i'm sure it's probably the numbers are way way more up there them just the ones that we see in our cities and you know some that get a little bit more attention than the other ones you know but hey this is an ongoing thing here man these men they're 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 going into a jealous rage the scripture talks about the, the jealousy of a man a lot of the times it'd be infidelity going on you know or just plain stress just plain stress. Social media is taking over the lives of these people. I just, um, I wanted to do it. It was a lesson early. I wanted to do a lesson early. I haven't gotten around to it, but um, I think that was here. This young lady, well, I can't even call her young lady, man. You know what I'm saying? I call her monsters, but she's 13 years old. She, you know, deleted her mom, stabbed her mom up, you know, stabbed her to death all in her neck and head over her taking her cell phone. So this is the shit that's going on out here, man. Esau, he 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 can't his his community or his his kingdom can't thrive unless it's um wicked man because he's a wicked man so when you have the wicked the scriptures talks about when um the wicked are in authority the people um um are basically roughly paraphrasing they're they're you know they're miserable but when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice you know roughly paraphrasing and you have nothing but misery throughout the earth, man, with this man in rulership. So the Lord is going to come soon to take this man out of here. <laughs> you know, nothing will survive. That's why the Lord is going to shorten the time, because if he continues to rule, nothing will survive. Let's just be honest here, man. Nothing will survive if this man continues to rule in this world. You can clearly see it. Every, I mean, this man has the capability of pushing a nuclear button on, on wherever they are. They can push a nuclear button and take our continents, everybody through. This one race of people. And they're the only ones that, that, that push war like that, man. So you have to realize who you're dealing with, man. So you, that's why the scriptures, let me get this real quick. This is why we do these lessons, man, to let our people know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know, hey, come out of this place, man. Because the Lord is about to destroy this place. He's about to do a number on this place. He's doing it now. This is, this is actually stuff like this happening. This is a part of the process of, of the Lord uh, uh, beginning to show himself in this earth, man, in this planet. And things are going to get a lot worse. Never in, in my lifetime, you know, it, throughout the amount of years that I've been here, have I, you know, ever seen crime so rampant. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, not only that, but the, 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 the degree of the heinousness of the crimes, man. People getting done all kinds of dirty, man. This is... um. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. The only way that you can come out of this place is to get into these scriptures, to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. If you're dealing with this world, you out here celebrating these wicked-ass holidays, these idolatrous-ass holidays, you out here trying to live like um, on the Joneses down the street, if you're living outside of these scriptures in any kind of way, actually, your ass is going to be through. And it's only a matter of time, man, because because the door of mercy is closing. If you don't repent, your ass is going to get the same business that Esau is going to get. And America is going to be completely destroyed anyway with that thermonuclear fire. This place is the is the cause the source of all the wickedness that's going on in the earth, man. The, the so-called white people that's here. Not to mention just all over the world, but this is it, this is the source of chaos right here at Babylon the Great, man. Virgin Daughter of Babylon, right here at the Americas, man. This place is a wicked place, man, and you can get done up real quick. And we always say, can't say it enough, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Pray with the scripture says to pray without ceasing. It says to walk circumspect. Because the days are evil, you see? Let's play some more. Another, a toddler about three years old and a newborn baby about two months old. Chopper 6 captured the house where the bodies were found right near the pool covering. And guess what? Look at where they living at. 
You notice they said uh, by the pool. Shit, we in the hood. We ain't got no damn pool. If you going to a pool, that's if you done rented a hotel room with a pool or you going to a local pool. These people, <laughs> they be living it up. But when they hit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of finance, it could be something financial. They could have been arguing over some damn money. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, cause it's not like they... See, in America, the women won't allow these men to just go ahead and, and rule in their position. When the man is in, in, in rulership in his position, things generally turn out a lot better, you know, as far as, like, the way that the household is ran. But the women are running the households. And they, and, and, and they you know, they... See, women are more... You know, they're more, more emotional. They see things, and they, they're the ones that do the most shopping. That's why a lot of stuff is advertised to them. You know, and, and, and they get this impulse to just go spend money. I'm not saying that that's the situation with this, but you know, men are generally more like, you know, hey, let's just get what we need. You know, they'll do little things, you know, splurge here and there, but they really want overall, well, America, these, these simps, man, they, they, they act emotional as hell like women. But you know, generally is what I'm saying. Men are generally on top of business. Let's handle the business. The women, you know, want to have a good time and be comfortable and splurge, you know, so to speak. But also, so I'm not sure if these are Edomites or not. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, they 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 live in that that way. You know, but anyway, let's play some more. Presumably the body, police have not released the identities of the mother and the child, but we do know that property records and uh, neighbors around here confirmed the mom as Sarah Gamma and the father as Giancarlo's Aponte. Again, they're two small children. See, that's why I was thinking this, because he, uh, like I said, we don't go by colors. We don't go by the way people look. We don't go by, you know, the people's names. But when I, you know, kind of seen it, you know, because I had, let's matter of fact, let's go back to the original story. I have the original story right here. And the way that I was seeing it, man, it just kind of seems like this might be a Northern Kingdomer, you know, a Jake. But who knows? But it says beloved teacher is 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 deleted and her two sons are orphaned after, a, um, you know, the murder suicide. Jamie Felix, 45, and her two sons, age 10 and 17. We're leaving a business in Port St. Lucie. Well, damn, I'm trying to think. Is this a different story? This might be a different story. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is a whole other story. It's a lucky. I pulled up the wrong thing. Well, hey, that's the spirit, though. Look, here's a whole other story. Florida dad kidnaps sons, kill their mom as they watch, then takes his own life. Oh, I'm thinking, oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> so hey but that's the spirit though that here's a whole nother story of a whole nother situation so lock you for that man but hey that's the spirit though it says um this guy damn it says the three sons realized the mystery man was the boy's father and jamie's estranged so he let me see it says they were approached by a man they did not recognize the three sons realized the mystery man was the boy's father and Jamie's estranged husband, Ray Felix, dressed in disguise. Ray had a gun on him and soon forced his way into the car and told Jamie to drive towards West Palm Beach while holding her at gunpoint. Uh, the two boys were instructed to follow behind in a rental car. Their father had arrived in with the teenagers at the wheel as the two cars drove 50 miles. So, God damn, bro. So, I mean, you see what it is, man. I thought that was the same story. Salakia. So this one happened six days ago. Whole different story. I'm thinking this was the same story. So, hey, what can you say? Let's just get the scriptures, man. I'm not going to keep this long. But this, hey, this is what Yahweh spoke of. This is what Yahweh said that will be happening in the end days. That's, hey, this is that Michael 2 and 10 again. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword of destruction. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you must repent, man. Because you are the Israelites. The Lord is doing all this on your behalf. He's flipping this place upside down for you. The children of Israel, which are his chosen people. Because these the things that these people have done to us for the past 400 to 500 years, that shit is coming to an end. 
they got to pay for all that stuff. And this is just the beginning of their plight, man. So come out of here. Well, let me get the scripture that I, I was quoting. Matthew 24. Let me get verse 3. Because this is what the disciples is asking the Lord, right? Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, but his name is Yahweh, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Verse 12 is the point that I wanted to get. Because this is what he said, one of the things he said will be happening. That's um, befitting to these particular stories. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. In the NLT, the New Living Translation version, it says, sin will be rampant everywhere. And the love of many will grow cold. Now, when you go off into that 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1, I'm going to start there. It says, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection. See that? You have to be without natural affection to do something like that to yourself or your family, especially your family. It's like, damn, why drag your family into it? What the children had to do with it? But that's all judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says, um, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. Yeah, you got to be pretty fierce, man, to do something like that to your loved ones. Despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. So that natural affection part, well, point is what I wanted to make there. Yeah, people out here bugging the hell out, man. But let me get this one too. So like your, uh, Ephesians 5 and 15. That's why you got to keep your head on a swivel and keep watching out here and, and, and keep praying. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools. But it's wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. And praying six, you should be praying to Yahweh about Shimei was shot for mercy on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? <laughs> Can't get around it, man. That's the Lord right there. Let's get this one. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. I like this one. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. See that? The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. And you can kind of see from that aerial shot of that neighborhood that that's one of those, you know, it's not cheap to live in those kinds of neighborhoods, especially not in Florida or anywhere else for that matter. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord... He, hey, he'll, he'll make you rich, but he'll also bring your ass down. And a lot of the times people see the scriptures talks about. Remember, no. Because when you're poor, you should be, you know, you should reflect on that, so to speak, you know. So when you do, if you hit it, you know, and you get rich, you got to you got to realize. As a matter of fact, Job actually said that, too. He's, um, you know, Job spoke on the fact that, you know, the Lord, you know, uh, how did he word it? I don't want to butcher it. But he said that, uh, let me see if I can find this lock here. Yeah, it should be in Job. Let's see. Up to the, I might have not put it in word wrong, right. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what Job was talking about his wife because his wife told Job to go ahead and curse the Lord and, and just be done with it, basically. But he said, Job 2 and 10, but he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of, the, of God? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So if any bad thing is going down, it's because of the Lord. But now you got Christianity. You know, with the Easter Bunny shit, talking about how good the Lord is, you know what I'm saying? But they're not telling you that the Lord is the one that kills and makes a lie. He wounds and he heals, you know? And who knows, this guy, he tried to commit suicide by taking some damn pills. 
<laughs> he, he probably should have, you know, they, they go get his ass back together. They going to make sure they try and get him back together. He going on trial. And then he's going to probably get to a prison where they going to lump him up. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, I just wanted to just touch on this, man, because these are part of the end days prophecies. These go these prophecies go just as well as with, um, you know, the MOTB, the market of beauty and the beast. It goes, um, you know, with World War Three, the third woe. You know, we got to speak on all these things. We got to prophesy all these things. These are the things because the Lord said to measure all the time diligently in itself. How do you measure the times? By putting the scriptures with these with these news articles and things of that nature. And this is just one part of it, man. So a lot of this stuff is going to sound repetitious. But, you know, hey, all we can do is prophesy the same things. What else is there, is there to do if you if you here for entertainment? <laughs> then, hey, I mean, you know, it's movies you can watch, man. It's all kinds of stuff on YouTube, man. You know, they got free movies now. Hell, you can actually even rent or buy movies. You can you you know go on your Netflix, Hulu, whatever the case may be. But we trying to put you on game as to how close we are to the Lord's coming, man. You know, trying to be playing around out here, man, because Esau is about to get busy, and he's getting busy right now. It's a lot this man is doing behind the scenes. Why, you know, people are focused on damn bridges and focus on damn uh, uh, Sean Puffy Combs and Diddy and, you know, and all these different movie stars and motherfuckers dying. And it's just a gossip um, um, world out here. Everybody got a podcast talking shit about somebody. That stuff is not going to get you nowhere. That's not going to get you nowhere. You better get you a good, healthy dose of these scriptures on a day to day basis, man. And hell, in reality, stay away from all that other shit. You know, I get it. Some people want to be entertained, but no, nah, we, we, we're not in a in a, um, a state of mirth, man. The Lord is taking the mirth out of this place. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.